Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. It's looking pretty good from this angle, floor aside. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start things off by uh, giving a shout out to Yornik, who doesn't mind that I wrote Arch instead of Arse on this level, because the true Arse was the friends we made along the way. All right, I am going to turn the uh, sensitivity up a bit. Okay, that ought to do it. Yeah, now I'll be able to turn around at least, uh, you know, faster than a snail's pace. Without, you know, relying on the mouse. I also noticed an option that just said dirt details on off, which apparently defaults to off. I think that might have been what I was thinking of. Grime. Just grime. General grime. Dirt streaks. Moss. Yeah, maybe I turned that off myself, because I didn't want to know what I was cleaning away. Human soul residue! Yeah, Volgram wants us to hose off his store. Nice. Let's finish off this, too. I can't aim lower than that. Oh fuck, it did change the option, even though I told it not to. <laughs> Sorry about that. The uh, the precision aiming mode, like this, uh, it defaults to uh, toggle like I have it. But uh, you can change it to hold. And I changed it to hold, changed it back to toggle, because I didn't know what that meant. And it's, Oh, that! And uh, then it changed it back to hold on its own. So that was weird. Get this one in the middle of the, this area by itself. That's the one. And get this one in this crowded area. Go ahead and take the L. <laughs> I 
Moss. Need to focus fire on that one. Yes, I, hmm. I did forget about that. I have to admit that. I'm glad I noticed it before I cleaned the arch away, though. finish off the, uh, the floor. This is the arch building. I'm a fool. I thought I was standing over here for some reason. Ooh. Think my sense of geography was that bad. No, it's like my sense of spatial awareness more than anything else. That part doesn't usually happen. Like, that's usually on a much bigger scale. Like an open world game. Oh, I thought I was in the other place that looked like this. You know, because they tend to reuse assets and all that. I will get this, uh, what's it called? Bridge off of, thank you, corner. Lichen. Oh, it's further away. That's not, it's not working. Oh. Spot. You know, the reason I hadn't been going to my roguelike series uh, for a while is because I realized after a while that you're not meant to play them the way I play them. Or, was, or the way I was playing them for the channel, I mean. Or it was like, I'll just, you know, play this every so often between se uh, videos. Or, you know, between proper sessions, whatever I'm doing a Let's Play of. But, uh, you, you're really meant to just sit down and keep playing it over and over and over again. And, and uh, you know, build up your skill and muscle memory and all that. Like I was warned, uh, in particular, I haven't touched it yet, but, uh, Hades was the one that was named for me as something you really want to play in, you know, a continuous, uh, in one continuous go, really, like a, like a proper Let's Play series. Oh, I was hoping it would work now that it was, uh, clean. I suppose if that was through the Stego slide, it would be, uh, more reactive than it is.
Oh no, that was working. How about not being like super foolish by not buying any of the like extensions or soap nozzles or whatever? I mean, at first I was assuming the game would tell me when I needed them, but. I didn't imagine that video where the guy got a job and gave him a voucher. Like, I don't remember a single word of those, uh, emails, but I do remember that the theme of the level was, uh, hosing off, you know, a building from outside the fence outside. So here's an extension on your uh, washer. You need to hose this up without actually going onto the property. Yes! Take that, Grime! Hell yes! Is the floor over here under these things? Excellent! 90% done. Yuck. Keep doing the edge and as the edge keeps shrinking, you know? Dirt streaks. No, actually, yeah, this one. keep seeing, like, cloud shapes or something in this. And it's like, oh, now it looks like a duck. Uh, I don't know, it probably looks like a state or something. Nice and clean. More like it. Take that, tiny... Wait, that is lichen, yes. No, no, it's just more... What? No. Yeah, that's lichen. I thought so. Take that, you tiny plant fucks! Eh, it's just not the same as saying that when you're 
ripping something apart with your bare hands, or blasting it off a cliff with a rocket launcher. I mean, you can say the words, but it's not quite the same when you're going, EAT SEVERAL DICKS! To, uh, a tower vertical strut covered in dirt streaks and grime. I did mention it last time, but just imagine how difficult it would be to... Oh, wow. I have the, the, the constant spray on. I was you know, making the joke about switching heads while it's spraying, and I realized... Well, first my thought was, oh, you know, without the, uh, the head on, it would do this. And then I realized you'd just get a giant cone spraying out of it with almost no pressure at all. There's water blasting in every direction. Well, volcano ash might not be water-soluble, but this generic grime sure is. I oh, forget dissolving, you know, the way that, uh, the, you know, there's no puddles or anything. It's like, uh... It's like it's just evaporating, along with the dirt. I'm just disintegrating all this gunk. I thinking to myself, you know, if a AAA studio made a game like this, I bet there'd just be the craziest water effects you'd ever imagine. So, you know, puddles that build up and slowly evaporate. Just water dripping from the ceiling. I mean, it would be a dick move, but, uh, video game developers aren't above that. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh! I immediately reminded myself of, uh... When an indie dev announced, uh, that adorable, like, Zelda-like, called Tunic. And, you know, then, because it was taking a while to make, and, you know, small development team and all that, might have, was that one of the ones that was just one person? It might have been. Uh, Nintendo came along for this free, free real estate and uh, released that remake of Link's Awakening that very coincidentally has exactly the same art style as Tunic. I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked that game. It just graphics may be kind of uncomfortable, because they felt like they were stolen. It's like a heartbeat there, I thought I was exposing a world map. That would be weird, if the lichen was growing in a recognizable pattern. Oh god. Oh, shit, the timer. Well, I was going to go get the footstool and see if that would help me use the green one to hose everything off, but I guess I'll just do this. Can I get one more ding?
Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! Well, maybe that is the idea. You know, you could use this nozzle, and if you had soap in there for lichen, you could just blast it all away. thought for next time. And that certainly won't ding because they haven't done the roof on the top. That's the side with arse on it, I believe. Well, if I play my cards right, uh, I should, should, and again, knock on wood, be uh, returning to God of War 2018 before we, uh, you know, pick up with this again. But I will try to get back into this soonish, you know, at the very least, so that uh, we can take a look at the Croft Manor level. I might want to finish the playground first. Huh. I don't know if it has different autosave slots like that. Like, is it the autosave slot for uh, the playground level, or is it just the autosave slot? But regardless of when it happens or the circumstances surrounding it, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we do some cleaning, however, whatever form it takes. There you go. Later.